everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy. Today we're checking out the Fox USB microphone from Bayer Dynamic. It's a large diaphragm cardioid pickup with a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. It's perfect for musicians, singer-songwriters, rappers, voice artists, and YouTubers. First of all, a big thanks to photosavings.com for sending this over for us to check out today. If you need any equipment, audio, video, or photo related, head over to photosavings.com and type in Music Tech Help Guy when you check out to get 10% off your entire order. The Bayer Dynamic Fox is a great quality USB mic for musicians on a budget, and at only $149 US, it won't break the bank, and if you use my offer code, you'll get like $14 off. So if you don't want to fool around with an audio interface, the Bayer Dynamic Fox is perfect for you. It includes a tabletop stand and a clip-on pop filter to keep plosives out of your recordings. If you want to mount it to a standard mic stand, it comes with a bushing to attach it to any mic stand. On the front, there's a microphone mute button, a monitor mix knob, and a headphone volume knob, and a jack to plug in your headphones. On the back, you can adjust the input gain between high and low sensitivity. Again, it's a USB mic, so the gain adjustment controls an internal preamp, and when you plug it in, it functions as the interface in your DAW. So in Logic, I just go up to Logic Pro 10, Preferences, Audio, and then select the Fox mic as both my input and output device. It supports up to 24-bit 96K recordings, and you can plug your headphones directly into the mic for zero latency monitoring. It comes with an included USB-C to USB-A cable, although you may want to get a USB extension cable for longer runs. So let's test this thing out. If you're recording guitar and voice at the same time, aim the mic right in between the singer's mouth and the guitar neck, right around the 12th to 15th fret area. It may not look like it in this shot because of the camera angle, but the capsule is horizontally aimed right around the 12th to 15th fret area, right around here, and halfway between the guitar neck and the singer's mouth. I was a as pretty as could be. about anyone's worth yeah ain't that a sad sight to see ain't that a big if you record this way you may need to add some additional eq and compression in your daw to compensate because the mic capsule isn't aimed directly at a source you'll get a better result if you multi-track and overdub the guitars and voice separately here we double tracked and panned the acoustic guitar and then tracked the vocal separately. I once knew a girl as pretty as could be Showing off the lemons on her tree She knew how to work it, but didn't care about anyone's work yeah. Ain't that a sad sight to see? Ain't that a bitch to believe? I started taking my trust and holding it close. Ooh, yeah. When I saw that though she claimed to love, she hated the most. Oh yeah, oh. She knew how to work it, but didn't care about anyone's worth. Yeah, ain't that a sad sight to see? Ain't that a bitch to believe? So that's the Fox USB microphone from Bayer Dynamic. It's a perfect solution for musicians, singer-songwriters, YouTubers, and voiceover artists. 
And again, because it's a USB mic, it's completely interface free, so I didn't have to drag any external equipment out other than my laptop and the microphone. So if you're interested in the Fox microphone or any other audio, video, or photo gear, head over to photosavings.com and don't forget to enter the code Music Tech Help Guy before you check out to get 10% off your entire order. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you'd like to make a monthly contribution to the channel, you can check me out at patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy. As always, thanks for the support and thanks for watching.